All right, so see the car, the gray car as the bus coming, pulling to the bus stop. He made it to U turn, <laughs> right? So, what was going on down there with all those cops blocking off the street? I guess they hate to hear me sing, um, I'm all the way up, <laughs> I'm all the way up, I'm all the way up, I'm all the way up, nothing can save them. See, when I talk about how they adjust when you, when it's, when you do things that affects them, and so they, they hate to hear it, right? They, they hate to, they hate to hear it when you do things to, to affect them. Good bro. <laughs> right? They hate it. So they will literally do all of that. Now you hear the noise campaign? They'll talk about how they, they'll use car alarms, right? Normally, like I said, there's always got to be some noise campaign. They always got to adjust their targeting in uh, other ways, right? Engage another sort of noise campaign when you um, when you expose them, right? This is what they got to do. Okay, I guess they've been plotting and planning. And again, uh, I forgot to mention this. So as Pam was going out, we both got in the elevator because I had to go downstairs to the basement to dry some clothes. And, you know, she was wearing, again, all black, right? And we're in the elevator and she kept kicking out her feet. Right? Now, you know, like I said, you know, in the when I first started dating her, she was doing the exact same thing. And I stopped dating her. Right? She was doing the exact same thing. And I stopped dating her. Right? Because again, this is what they love to do. Christian, religious fanatics, the infiltration, or every facet of society every government agency right creating the weapons to control our minds to manipulate us engaging in sabotage engaging in lies in order to manipulate us to bring us to Christ See, one thing about Christian people and their ignorance, I want to say all religious people and their ignorance, is that because they are living in a society in which the masses of people believe in their fairy tale and their myth, they tend to forget that when they go to other countries, there are people just like them believe in other religion and other gods who are also wealthy, who are also poor, who are also working poor, working class, middle class, upper middle class, millionaires, multi-millionaires, billionaires, okay? They tend to forget that. This is why a lot of Americans you see lately, particularly black Americans, when they go places like Dubai, particularly black women, uh, they are getting thrown in jail because they tend to have this Again, this narcissistic mindset and like I said I don't really blame them because this is created by those in the society in which they steer society in the direction that they want to steer society in and these are the elites you know and they have the resources the expertise the technology the, the finance to create uh, such thing. Yeah, see, I guess they're gonna start me with the white guy. <laughs> look, 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 hand behind the head. Yeah. Is he looking at the the car? Look, looking back at the license plate. <laughs> look, look, you can tell. I just, just just look at their hand movements. Look at the look at their behavior. Right, a lot a lot of things that they do is not natural. So you can tell 
Oh, they're targets. They keep looking back at the license plate. <laughs> I'm going to look at this license plate right here. They're actually, it is, this one has no license plate in the front. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. So you see, that's the reason why they blocked off the street. Right? So they can do, they can do all of this. Okay? Like I said, they don't stop, they just continue. It's the same shit over and over. You know, but I, like I said, I love to expose it, so, you know, the more they do it, the more I expose it. But again, I want you guys to see, right? But anyhow, I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Nothing can save them. I'm all the way up. Um, see, I'm still singing it. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Nothing can save them. I'm all the way up. Right? <laughs> so, it doesn't matter what they do. You know, and also Pam, she's... I tell you, she always talk about she doesn't have any money. But she's always shopping. Always buying shoes. Always buying shoes. Oh look, listen, listen. Noise campaign. Ambulance. So I'm wondering also, you like, well, again, you know, things, when things happen like this, where you see the cops block off the street, like that, where the bus can't go, uh, you know, like I said, I don't want to sound like everything is because of my targeting. But I know that they'll use situations in order to target me. I know that, all right? So uh, please don't misconstrue when I say certain things. Just understand when I say these things, I don't mean that. Sometimes it's, it's, it, it, they, they target me, yes, a lot of times. Other times they will use situations to engage in targeting, right? Because again, it gives them a reason to be there, right? Or they will orchestrate an event right they'll they you know again i'm not talking up my mouth this is true we've heard of false flag operations right where people get hurt they get killed or what have you but they will always uh use situations particularly if they know that i am you know leaving or going somewhere they'll sometimes orchestrate things all right what's going on uh, they will sometimes orchestrate things uh, to, uh, you know, target me. All right. So again, uh, I don't want it seems as if everything that happens involving the police, you know, they are targeting me. Like I said, I've I've said this before. I can usually tell, for the most part, when they are specifically targeting me and how they mass their targeting. All right. So I just want to clarify that.